A lot of people say the medium healing beam is pretty overpowered, and rightly so. It will help you survive a lot of crazy situations. But what if you had two medium healing builds in your team? Well, we tried it in a tournament ranked mode to find out how effective it can be. We started the first round with a nice little brawl. Thanks to the defibs and healing beams, we were able to take out that squad and we took the cash out into the cash out point. And with a bazillion nades, we were able to keep it very defended. Anyone that tried to push our cash out, we were able to deal with thanks to all the healing we had. And even if we died, which we did, the gas mines were there and the defib and healing was always available to keep us back in the fight. As we got our first cash out, we went to get the second vault, and whilst we did get a bit of damage on us, it was no problem thanks to the healing beams. I'm low behind you, behind you. Did he us? Low, low, low. We took out more players from this squad and kept healing up whenever we needed to. And for the rest of the game, no one really bothered us because we had so many gas mines, people just couldn't be bothered. It seemed like things were working out really well to begin with, but it seemed like this loadout was only really working if we could get the cash out box ourselves. Defending it was easy, but what about attacking? In round two, we were about to find out because we got team wiped when trying to get the first vault, which meant we had to try and attack the first cash out point. We stormed the building together and our healing beams and defibs were doing a lot of work for sure. Low, low, low. Nice. He's got a shotgun. He's waiting for me, dude. Nice, just wiped. Yeah, see that's it. That's a, that. He's a good player. He knows. He knows to do that first. And like before in the first round, we're able to use our defensive abilities with the gas mines to basically stop anyone trying to steal it. First cash out was a success. We went to go and do the second cash out, and this time we were the ones defending. Honestly, it was no big deal. Like it, it was almost like nobody could bother to try and attack us because we had so much healing and so many gas mines. And the moment we did get knocked, we had defibs ready to go. Not gonna lie, we actually got kind of bored second round, so we just went around trying to eliminate people for fun. That's how far ahead we were in the game. I was here. I was here. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> Alright. And of course, we qualified, and it was not really any issue at all. Now, we moved into round three, and things kind of took a bad start. They also don't have, uh, oh, I just fell off the edge. My bad. With that horrible start out of the way, we had to try and attack again, which is definitely the weak point of this loadout. Having two mediums like this means we're lacking things like glitch nades and abilities to deal with all of the carnage indoors. And unfortunately, we got team wiped. So we tried to attack another cash point and got team wiped again. Oh. With us realizing that attacking was our weak point with this build, we focused on getting ourselves a cash point we could defend once the next vault came in. And as expected, we did an amazing job defending it, thanks to the defibs, healing beams, and good aim between the three of us. But we weren't in the safe zone yet. We were only second place, and another vault was about to enter a cash point. Which meant we would really need to try and attack this one and pull off something here, otherwise we wouldn't be going to the finals. That, that, that. I'm one HP. It's last one, last one. Nice. Not really necessary, but we'll do it. Actually, it is necessary. It is necessary at this point, dude. Thankfully, we managed to take out the squad, get the steal, and once again, with us holding the cash point, it wasn't really that hard to defend. In fact, I was jumping around like an idiot getting stuck, and, and my gas mines did all the work. What am I doing? Ah! An objective close. Dead another, dead another. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. The gas, the gas won. <laughs> so like that, we qualified into the finals. And we fought against the first fault. Our defibs and our healing beams were coming in clutch until we got wiped. Now we had our biggest threat. This was our biggest difficult challenge with this loadout. Once again, we had to try and attack a cash point, which is not easy with two healing beams and a lack of utility. 
and unfortunately we got wiped and wiped again until they managed to cash out the first point. We put on a bit more aggression on this next point, but try to keep our distance, but it just wasn't quite enough, and we got team wiped once again, and that allowed the enemy team to start the cash out for the second time, and if they cashed this one out, it would be game over. Learning that we couldn't really have the utility to push them up close, we tried to take the rooftops to take them out first before we pushed up. Heavy Dead heavy again. There's a turret, there's a turret, watch out. Oh no. It's crazy dude, they'll respawn for sure. Nice, nice to throw that turret. And it was a close battle, not gonna lie, but we did manage to make this one work. We stole the cash out point and cashed out, meaning the next cash out would determine the winner of the game. Because they team wiped us just as we cashed out that last one though, they were able to get up ahead, meaning we had to try and attack it once more, which was not gonna be easy. Okay. On you, Mishka, he's low. Not low, but I want to... <laughs> I mean, he's, he's down low. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's not on the height with them. One on my stairs. On me, dead one. Nice. I, I killed the medium, I killed the medium. He's reviving, he's reviving. Hold the food, hold the food, revive. Oh my Take this heavy out, take this heavy out. Ah, oh, dude, uh, my bad. We needed to get that fight, but maybe we should reset instead. Nice, this light. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We can respawn, we can respawn. I respawned, you're fine. Why, Ethan? Stop. In the end, with me being far from my team and having to try and get to the cash out and res, I just didn't have enough movement abilities to get there quicker. If I had a grapple in this situation, maybe it would have been a different story. But overall, that lack of utility to attack with really meant it was a difficult game at times. Sure, the slowdown may work if you can defend well, but if you can't even get into the defending state, then it's kind of really hard. But it was an interesting experiment. What weird team compositions should we try out next? Let me know. Cheerio!